مركز التعلم الذاتي ريادتك للتعلم جامعة السلطان قابوس السالب القطب السالب لانه الهواي يو هاف ذس از ذا كونكشن فور الهواي ذير از اولسو هير كونكشن ويتش از ذا نيجاتيف ذا جراوند سوري ذا نيك ذا جراوند هير ذس از ذا جراوند اول كونكتد مع بعض سي ذيس ار اول كونكتد توجذر از جراوند يعني نقطه يو بوت ات از كومن كومن لانه اي الكتريكال الكترونيك كومبوننت ويل هاف تو ويل هاف تو تيرمينالز وان تو ذا جراوند اول ذيم كونكت ذيم توجذر تو ذا سيم بوينت And another one up here, see? Up, up. The other one is ground, ground, ground. You see? Then that will be complete circuit. All right, we move. Okay, we talked about this. I think electrical cars. And I could show you this video, I think. Uh, we did not cover it. But I'll show you just a few. Uh, It's about six minutes, but I'll show you three minutes because the last three minutes, they go deep into physics, but I'll stop there. You still remember? Electromagnetic induction. <coughs> In this lesson, we shall learn about electromagnetic induction. The phenomenon of electromagnetic induction can be demonstrated by an experiment. Bind an insulated copper wire on a paper or wooden cylinder so as to form a coil in the form of a solenoid. Connect the two ends of the coil to a galvanometer and place a magnet close to it. The reading of the galvanometer. What he means by galvanometer is the قياس الجهد. قياس الجهد بين طرف الملف. This is just lafat of nohas. You can put them within khashab uh, or even an, another metal, doesn't matter, or iron. <coughs> you put uh, iron is much better. Even it will, it will give you more magal uh, magnetism. Zero, when the magnet is stationary. The pointer of the galvanometer deflects towards the right when the north pole of the magnet is moved towards the solenoid. The galvanometer shows zero reading when the motion of the magnet stops. This proves that as long as the magnet keeps moving, current flows in the solenoid. If the magnet is moved away from the solenoid, current flows in opposite direction in the solenoid. Thus, the galvanometer deflects towards the left. The deflection increases if the magnet is moved away with greater velocity. If the polarity of the magnet is reversed and the magnet is brought close to the solenoid, then current flows in an opposite direction. The galvanometer accordingly turns towards the left. Faraday observed that current flows in the coil only when there is a relative motion between the coil and the magnet. The direction of deflection in the galvanometer is reversed if the direction of motion is reversed. <coughs> the current in the coil and the corresponding deflection of the galvanometer can be increased by using a strong magnet or by increasing the motion of the magnet. Increasing the area or the number of turns also creates 
a strong gun we got. According to Faraday, when there is no relative motion between the magnet and the coil, the magnetic flux within the coil remains constant. So the galvanometer shows no deflection. But when the magnet is moved towards the coil or vice versa, the magnetic flux changes and an EMF is induced in the coil. If the circuit is complete, the EMF causes current to flow through it. Based on his experiment, Faraday formulated two laws of electromagnetic induction. Whenever there is a change in the magnetic flux linked with a coil, an electromotive force is induced. The magnitude of the induced EMF is directly proportional to the rate of change of the magnetic flux link. What is uh, left is not that of importance possibly to you, but uh, what would be the conclusion of this? الحث المغناطيسي أي تغير لحظي في الحركة المغناطيس يعني تعادل أو بنفس الشيء as you have electric current uh, AC بنفس المبدأ حركة المغناطيس inside and out gives you تغير في في الفيض المغناطيسي وبالتالي يولد لديك حث تيار لحظي so التيار came due to الحركة المفاجئة في للمغناطيس لو المغناطيس كان ثابت داخل أو برا ما راح يتولد لديك تيار فالتيار التيار you got is for free it's like now you have here uh, you can connect your LED or connect anything else as a low and it will take that curve so it's something that you can use for any application, not necessarily only for uh, wireless charging. You, you get my point? So it's really uh, uh, very basic, very uh, fundamental to uh, know as well. التغير في التيار الكهربائي أو حركة المغناطيس يولد تيار في الملف. Remember that this ملف must be metal. لأن التيار فقط يمر في uh, materials, mawad that has, that have what? Free electrons, right? Free electrons. So if this made of rubber or uh, hubble or something else, you won't get current. And then you have two terminals. This is like now, uh, uh, you could assume that this is a new battery. You received from التغير المفاجئ في حركة المغناطيس. Okay? Any questions on this? So this is basically not the amal, uh, magnetic induction of wireless charging. We go back here. So see if you have any questions or I move. No questions or difficult physics. <laughs> That's fine. Just take the basic, that's it. Uh, so what I wrote there in Arabic, I think, please keep that in mind. Uh, same thing for electric cars, same principle. Video is there, but I don't think we will go over it. Uh, this is back, a uh, recap of that video. تغير في حركة المغناطيس يولد. جهد لحظي بين أطراف الملف. You see the deflection of uh, voltmeter here. So that means you read something there. You read some gohar. Due to harkat al tayyar. And harkat al tayyar means there are shuhnat. Right? Uh, for wireless power transfer standards, it's very important to know it's uh, the QI. <coughs> QI were set as a standard for uh, manufacturers. Uh, it came from the Chinese word qi. Uh, and uh, it's using, as we said, al hath al magnatisi up to uh, uh, air distance or gap distance between uh, masdar, which is the transmitter and the mobile phone, up to maximum you could say 10 centimeter, but uh, with good efficiency you could reach up to five centimeter. Uh, there are two categories, low power up to five watt, and then there is a medium power that you could get up to uh, 120 watts. Okay, 120 watts. So which one is used for electric cars? 
You could say the medium, but electric cars are not using uh, the pure, uh, very, uh, very short distance uh, induction, magnetic induction. They are using a different technology, but very similar, very similar, but because they can go a bit uh, far, little bit. There is also the company PowerMat. They manufacture wireless chargers and. Uh, for many, they uh, actually leave the receiver and you buy your uh, receiving circuit by itself. And, but it's also reliable. Uh, cost is around 15 reals. Anyone have wireless charger? No. Maybe you build one? Why not? So for technologies, there are two types, two categories, two families. One is non-radiative. The other one is radiative. What we mean by non-radiative? The word radiative in Arabic means isha. Radiative means something that will go to a far place, far distance. So this is not non-radiative like the Al-Hatim Maharatisi, the Samsung wireless chargers. They belong to this family here. So transmitter and receiver are in touch or within five centimeter air gap. Uh, something like this, see? This is what I mean. You are within five centimeter, uh, and uh, that's your constraint. Up from there, you lose connection. Okay. Uh, no radiation is involved. Why no radiation? That takes you to a course called Hawaii, and it's out of the scope of the course. But what you need to understand is that al-masdar or al-mustaqbil then you can very close, very close, within a region of five centimeter. Why? They are not able to go far, just by nature. That's the coils are uh, designed for that low frequency. They don't go too far. Because uh, is very, very poor. Very poor. So by other means, we call it near field. Near field, yani uh, and there are three three subcategories. There is the magnetic induction. There is something called resonance coupling. What we mean by resonance? Resonance. But. You need something, you need the malaf to be better efficient. That but the icon that they make the raala, icon in a more efficient way. For example, you compare the dabba with the Which one is you could, you could say it's it's much stronger? The dabba or the dabba? Which one is bigger? The dabba. Dabba? No. I mean from their build, from their uh, body. This is what I mean. So the resonance uh, coils, they are still coils, but they have something you could say, something like this circuit. is like you have something called inductor. Why? Because tayar yamar fil malaf, right? Because malaf is nuhas, right? So there is current. If there is current, there is something in circuit we call uh, inductance. And there is also capacitance. So ma'al-malaf, you connect al-malaf ma'al-mukaffaf. Why? To give it this feature, what we call as resonance. Al-maqdara ala al-ish'a' bas bi masafat basita. Not too far. Possibly 10 centimeters. Uh, maybe one meter. Maybe 10 meters, but not, not to that extent. That's it. It stops there. So it still coils. We add in parallel, not in series, in parallel we add to al-malaf. Uh, we add to it what? Mukathaf. Mukathaf capacitor. That's it. And what will happen? It's very interesting because I think you know this from high school. A tradu disawi, wahad ala, two pi, root, L C. So a C came from where? Min al which you added. And what is L? 
here is a difference of the curve. You don't need to calculate that, don't worry. But the important thing is that al Masdar, when Mustaqbal, they will be talking at the same Taraddud. Just like you are having a walkie talkie. If you are not within the same frequency, you lose, right? So the same thing here. They, they have like a Shafra, which is a Taraddud, is the same. They are much bigger, much efficient, and that's why we call it resonance coupling. Yani engagement, uh, what do we call it in Arabic? Coupling. Uh, something like you get in, uh, engaged with it, is the wide, or or what So uh, that's the, uh, the the terminology they called it, resonance coupling. This is the one used for electric cars, and there is also capacitive coupling, but it doesn't have much uh, up to now much application in uh, smart devices. The only one common nowadays is the half and magnetisi. But also you can use mukaffifat. Then masdar wa mustaqbal, you use instead of malafat, you use what? Mukaffifat. But this is not used in smart devices. Just because it's not intuitive. Al hath al is much, much easier to understand and implement. Okay? So this is al hath al and al hath or magnetic resonance. Oh, resonance, you can also feel, uh, you can also um, uh, give it this nature that it is as, it is at certain taradud. You can have it is as and a taradud, but uh, it's just what you want to use as taradud. You have to decide what is a taradud. But this resonance phenomena can happen at any, at any taradud. Okay? And so you have capacitors. With what? متوصل مع الملف في المصدر وكذلك في المستقبل نفس الشيء يعني عمل دبليكت you have two coils you have two مكثفات and solder them together radiative no they use something called هوائيات antennas like the one I showed you yesterday remember the antenna and use radio frequency micro or microwave نطاقات أو حزم ترددية so microwaves is from 3 gigahertz to 300 gigahertz. But the radio frequency, some textbooks, they give it the band from 300, 300, 3 megahertz up to 300 uh, megahertz. And then the microwave from 300, sorry, from 300 megahertz up to 3 gigahertz. And then from here, from 3 gigahertz up to uh, 3000. Uh, 300 gigahertz. Okay. And some textbooks, they use the full range as radio frequency. From 300 megahertz up to uh, 300 gigahertz. So you have uh, Film Masdar Hawaii uh, transmitting antenna. There are two ways. Either you will know where it is located or you don't care about it, but you will receive. Like what we said yesterday about Hasad al taqa energy harvesting. You don't care where is your masdar of Vish'a. But you could also know where it is. If you know where it is, and it's towards you, you will get better power compared with, and you don't know where is the masdar, and I'm picking something. You might be picking something from, uh, from we could say, uh, 200 meters away. But that would be less power compared with something within uh, 20, 20 um, uh, within 20, 20 meters or less, or uh, within 5 meters. So there are certain distance that this uh, category has to fall within. And ما أي مسافة تختارها لابد أن تكون مسافة لا علاقة بحجم الهوائية. We don't want to go there, but it's very simple to know. Okay? So you have, as before, we said, Hawaii voltage, uh, voltage multiplier. And then you have Mokafat. Circuit wise is the same, but Hawaiiat, you need to use Hawaiiat in this category. And this is now what Apple is looking into. Yeah. Okay. So far, the resonance coupling, some companies have achieved uh, 5 to 10 meters. I'll show you one in the next slide.
But uh, beyond that, it's, it's what you also like to have, right? So this is a resonance method. Uh, it's a, a company called XE. Uh, XE, not the XE website of uh, Money Exchange. But this is a company called XE. And this is their uh, master of Isha. Ah. And this is what they have as a case. They have a case, you put your antenna inside, like cover. Mobile phone. And this is a cover where uh, coil and coil with the capacitor, then you have resonance. Coil with the capacitor, connected with a uh, rectifier, and then to your mobile phone. This one. And it will be away from it. I will show you a video. And they reach it five meters. Five meters gap, you could still uh, get charged. And, uh, uh, but within 1.5 meter, uh, you will need, uh, you will need to get four hours to get fully charged. Yeah. Is four hours big enough? Long time? Four hours. Uh, I think 1.5 or, I'm not sure if I'm, I mistake got mistaken that number but we can check from their website nowadays the cost is around 200 to 250 us dollar so you could say around 80 reals 60 reals that range yeah, but you could you could feel how convenient you are in a room of almost five meters five by five meters you could still get uh, covered uh, at any place just maybe put it up there or here yeah, but anyways, I'll not talk much. I, this is the receiver. I said the case, and that's your uh, the power transmitter. And let's see what they have in this video.
uh, case manufacturers, but they're also talking to device manufacturers, so we may see it implemented directly in the, in the phone itself, which would obviously be a lot more convenient for consumers. I think this this looks uh, looks uh, visible. <laughs> It seems reasonable, 1.5 meter, uh, still far. But uh, again, they have uh, a case where your phone must be uh, fit within that case. Okay, looks like they have the connection with the USB directly there uh, from the output of the circuit. So before we jump into meter materials, uh, any questions on what we covered? Yes. What about the height? The height? The height can reach to uh, up to five meters. Yes. What if someone passed there? <coughs> uh, yeah, if someone passed the device. If if he will pass, then will he go? Will he move or will he stay? Uh, will he stay there? If someone stays there or moves. But remember, their transmitter, I have no clue what is uh, the type of transmitter, but according to that size, I can assure that there is something similar to what I showed you yesterday, because those ones can radiate, can give you a uh, over a circle. And then if you are here, it could come here. But when it hits a wall, it could reflect a little bit back to you, to the phone, and part will go inside that wall. So you mean, are you plucking? Are you between that? For example, if a company uses this device, mm -hmm. and the employers... You will get, uh, yeah, sometimes yeah. you may get uh, interrupted, your mobile phone, and uh, because you don't know when you will receive back the signal from the wall. Even if you will receive, you will receive it with less power. So definitely, timing-wise, you will need more time to get charged. Then, if it's just no one is in the room blocking the, blocking the uh, connection. Okay. But it depends if they if they are using dedicated coils, and you are between like this is a mobile phone. I'm a transmitter. I put something in between. Then definitely I will plug. I will plug it. But it depends. Are they using a coil? Uh, they could be using more than one coil. So I, we have no clue. I've tried to search in their website about the design, what they have inside, and it looks there is nothing because possibly they, they want to protect it. So we don't know how many coils they have, but if they have a coil, coils more than one arranged in a circle, then they can, uh, that would be much better than just one. But if it's only one, you pluck it, definitely you will stop a list of bad men in Okay. Questions? Yes. You said that uh, in upcoming years, Apple will uh, recreate the, uh, their phones to have the same technology. Does that mean that we will not get any uh, wire, wire uh, charges and the battery will be no? But uh, battery, so battery in the phone, in the smart smartphones, batteries in the smartphones are simple. Yeah, but we will not get really to plug our phone with wire. Yeah, if it's available, uh, definitely. But uh, that could be also a choice to to connect. Like in Manfred, of USB will st will still be there because it's a standard. We will not get it. It will be charged all the time. But you will need you will need definitely more time. You will need more time because they will be restricted in the power from the transmitter. They cannot just be free to. From 100 watts or more, they cannot do that. No, you said from any time source, we can get electromagnetic waves. Yes, but Hasad uh, al I mean, something that is, you don't know where it is, as a masdar, you will get some uh, small amount of power, not that much. May, it may not even fit the mobile phone. But uh, low current uh, electronic devices like sensors or embedded systems, very small sensors or the circuits or temperature sensors. They need some power, so easily you can power them. But because mobile phones, you need at least uh, one ampere, one amp. And with something that will take 
with the, uh, from a master that will get reaching, reaching you of less than one ampere, as in the in the Hawaii, then you will not be able to charge a phone. And you don't want to use amplifier, right? Because amplifier would also require DC, right? So you, you don't want any DC supply, any battery. You don't need anything in the circuit. Then here, stuck below, right? If you put DC there, why do you why do you have to have Hawaii and you receive from something else? There is no point, right? So you want something just Hawaii, and you have to convert your AC current. That's it. But it depends how much you will receive. If it's very low, then this will be no use. And the next slide will prove to be much, much useful. So this is what is known as metamaterials for energy harvesting. Uh, this has been proved. It's already patented with the group in Canada. And uh, in this slide, I can tell you in very short that this type of uh, and made of metals. You see the cut? As I told you before, what is the cut represent? Mukathar. As a circuit. Mukathar. And that, that uh, loop of uh, metal represent inductance. Right? And then if you have uh, inductance, in parallel with the mukathaf, you have resonance. So this resonance, these uh, small rings, cut rings, when they will uh, talk to a, to a particular taraddut, they can be shaken and they can capture, say, come, this wave, well, I need you. So they will capture that wave and will have current like what Faraday has mentioned. So there's going to be current here going like this, like a sign. And then it will be stored here, they can put a resistor. If in high in a resistor, they can take wire and take it to a load. Like mobile phone or something also even can be on top of the building. But you don't need solar. You will need a moaj kahramana to see it. So this is one uh, concept. Uh, it's under research but has been proved experimentally. And it's working as you can see uh, in this slide compared with uh, three by three Hawaiiat. These are type of Hawaiiat like what I showed you yesterday, the one in the GPS, the back of the GPS. So these are called batch antennas. And here, when you put more, you get better efficiency. But even with nine, comparing with the same size of these small rings, these the rings get much much better efficiency than than what than the array of nine Hawaiiat. See the Hawaiiat, the array of nine only up to below 30%, whereas this represents a higher bandwidth of uh, efficiency converting uh, AC current, مستقبل and rings, and after that, collected on resistors, because then at the end, they will convert it into DC. So this is the conversion of captured AC to DC power efficiency, and عملية التحويل, how fast that will happen. And the higher it is, the more uh, faster you can uh, get advantage from that power at the load. So I hope I did not disturb you with this slide, but it's really uh, the future is going to be. So just can put it on top of, as I said, one application can be on top, but they have to be at a certain taraddut. For this particular study, it was at 5.8 gigahertz, so slightly higher. 5.8 gigahertz, and they, of course, they, they did not put it on top of uh, home, but they, they just put it here, and they launch it from, let's say, the projector. There is Hawaii pumping power in a meter. It's meter, 120 centimeter. So, and then it pumped power directly here. So it is direct, but if it was not direct, that efficiency will definitely drop a uh, little down, but I don't know how much it will go down because they did not do that study. <coughs> okay? So this is something is still under research, but it's very valuable to, to be as a reality in future. 
And the last one is using uh, metal materials similar like these rings. Can be the same or can be something different. What is important? You have halaqa min al ma'ban, even one part is enough, not necessarily this shape. And you take halaqa, fiha cut. The cut will give you will give you mukathaf, aqriban, yani responsible mukathaf, kadaster. And this ring as a metal will give you uh, something called inductance. Ma'abab as hagim give you uh, shaking, resonance behavior. يعني this resonance behavior means it can pump lots of power out or it can receive either way. So this is what for one of my master students we did recently, and he put this on top of solar. But then make on فقط glass. Then you have semiconductor. That is the solar, right? Remember first day. Now he put on top this, but not just one. Many of them. And remember, this is a very small, in micrometer, in micrometer size. But this is done numerically, means bil muhakam, baramit bil muhakam. And what the figure here shows, one means this hybrid metal material, mass solar, was able to achieve hundred uh, percent solar energy, minus shells. What we did, we shined solar energy, meaning that kamatradad mal taif mal adaw. We used it, the whole, and that's what's shown here as tarattad, frequency. This is frequency inherited, but multiplied by 10 power 14. 10 power 14 will give you tarattad hazmat dhaw, solar energy. And so it means that this particular hazmat, I get full absorption of the solar. That means the solar energy to the meter uh, material will enhance to get more photons inside. Then we mentioned that the solar is not that much efficient. The reason is it only captures little photons. The rest will reflect back. So the job is that you try to match. On the basis of the of the solar, you try to match uh, the waves from the solar with, uh, to get inside more. And how you match it? من خلال ال impedance أو المقاومة. يعني أعتبر هذا المقاومة نفس المقاومة في الهواء. في الهواء المقاومة 377 ohm. So if I design this kind of material to have to give me impedance of the same amount في الهواء, then I will be welcoming it to go inside. But this is very important in electrical that power maximum power transfer. We are students study it in uh, in circuit one, first course in electrical. But this is very uh, basic concept from circuits. يعني مبدأ عمل المقاومة من الهواء يكون نفس المقاومة للمستقبل مع مع السولار. لأنه it's on top. Before, if there is glass only, you get little efficiency. And people have proved with carbon. Carbon with uh, with the solar as hybrid, you can also get better efficiency. But this one can give you better because you can see your absorbance means معدل الامتصاص لي solar energy. So if it's one, that's the maximum means hundred percent. And even here above eighty percent, which is good. Here is still above seventy, where solar is way down here. So uh, I think this will be uh, very interesting. Uh, uh, area to to enhance solar uh, photovoltaics so yes. which time did you give this experience this is at SQ but we did this uh, we did not do experiment but other people have done experiment and they showed results من من خلال التجارب العملية and they uh, yeah they, they achieved something uh, within 90, because the muhaka are, are, are ideal. I mean, you don't have the real, uh, real uh, fabrication facilities. So there might be little deviation, but even these ones, uh, we have compared uh, something similar. We have repeated one, the student repeated one uh, set of experiment through muhaka in one paper. When he got the same results, that's how you train yourself. And then after that, you have the confidence that these uh, Baramj al muhaka are industry based. So they have been tested, calibrated thousands of times. So it's, they are very reliable 
And whatever you get, and if you do it correctly, you will get what you should expect yeah, and expect but not that much. But even so, within above something, something above 60% is something really, really good. So if we did the experiment, uh, we might still get a little bit reduction, but still valuable. And remember, these scales are in micrometer. So we still need uh, fabrication facilities, and that is still expensive to have. But uh, this is just from simulation. Okay. So as I shaded there in red, Mabda, Al-Tarhibi, Al-Sha'at, Shams, Al-Sha'at, Shams, Solar Energy. Is that you match Al-Amwad min Shams, min Khalal Al-Hawa, Farah, إلى بداية الميتا ماتيريالز. So this had be this have to be designed. So I did not talk about that. We cannot cover that, but they have to be designed. Yes. Either a company or if we have a lab, a lab that is built to fabricate nano and micro scale, then we can do that. And we are now trying with the nano, nano research lab to research center to do something regarding the fabrication. But I think uh, that's all I have. Unfortunately, there is still much time. But uh, I try to make it very short, not to disturb you like yesterday, and uh, keep it to the point. But uh, we've tried to cover. Uh, as much technologies as possible from wireless power transfer and that's pretty much uh, what is uh, so far in, uh, in in academia and research and industry okay. you have questions or? this before this one yes 5.3. How we can modify to, you know, uh, another... That's very easy. Just what you want. Do you want higher Taraddudat or lower Taraddudat? Higher Taraddudat, you have to put in mind that when you go high in Taraddud, what happens to a Tool al Yes. Becomes smaller. So Tool al مثل ما ذكرت أمس له علاقة بالمجسم حجم المجسم كقياسات. So if you go higher in Taraddud, you will have to make this smaller. Just like the, this slide here. I told you this is in micrometer. With Taraddud, it's in 10 power 14 hertz. And uh, almost 1.5 times that uh, 5.8 gigahertz. That was 10 power 9. This is 10 power 14. You see, so when you go higher in Taraddud, you have to make everything smaller and smaller. That's good, but if you don't have, as I said, fabrication facilities, you might be stuck. Or you have to go back and make these sizes are slightly bigger. They will fit there, but uh, you need to fabricate them. But it's not difficult. Nowadays, people have also gone to 100 uh, gigahertz and above, even in terahertz. So with this uh, size, is still uh, people had done nanometer scale, but this is in micro. So still bigger than nano. Micrometer is still bigger than nanometer. Nano 10 power 9, micro 10 power, sorry, nano 10 minus 9, micro 10 minus 6. And uh, sorry, I forgot to uh, discuss this. The, the redness means what? means there is high power here. Nano here is cut, I told you cut, right? فالإنرجي متخزنة داخل مكثف and you know مكثف يخزن الطاقة right storage energy it's like a bank where energy is stored so the redness means higher power is there can be stored in a in a resistor later on a resistor is like a load can be another device and the rest is just it tells you how the energy will change here is much less because it's blue and here is closer to here but here much much bigger than here here and here as well, because if you cut here, this is symmetrical. Huh? If you make a cut here, this is up, similar to the one down. So, halakat mafuha min al are the topic of today of new materials.
we call it split ring resonator. Split ring resonator. But it has lots lots of wide applications. People have used them nowadays. Even manufacturers, they have used them in Hawaii inside Wi-Fi routers uh, to, to, to go farther distance than normal Wi-Fi routers. And uh, you, could, you could check them in Google. They have already been built. And even in MRI machines, I guess that's running magnetesis. These, if they are used, they can give you better enhanced image. When you go the cylinder, which you go inside, there are halakmalafat kabira. And those are very close to each other, like this. And if they are very close, they talk to each other, and there is a receiver from each one, and they interfere. And we said, Benham Tashwish. Bitali Asr ala Jawdat al image. So when you use these ones inside between, within that cylinder, then in Hawaiiyat inside, you can get better, uh, better image. And ha that had also been tested. Any questions? Maybe here. So uh, we, we look further to get something, uh, I think about uh, more than 10 meters, but uh, I think there is some, it will be a reality. Even uh, something to, you get yourself charged from someone else. Just you could say, borrow me some, some energy from your phone. Sometimes you get stuck, right, in some scenarios. You have no place to go and your phone, your phone is dying. But suppose that you have this feature where I can be close to someone, please get me connected so I get some energy from you. That could also be possible. Through the Hawaii the mobile phone. What I think is very also viable or, uh, or, or a big value is to have a system that can have more than one technology. So it's like a hybrid uh, system can go with uh, very short touching uh, scenario, half magnetic or little uh, magnetic resonance, or even consider having inside the transmitter or receiver uh, extra Hawaii that can be away. So that would, uh, I think, be uh, a hybrid a wireless charging system of big value, of course. Okay. And the backup, of course, you have a USB to, uh, if, in case you need to charge directly. Okay, so remember, uh, in, in short, that wireless power technology is not a, a, a direct contact like the cables, so definitely you will not get the same same amount of time to get charged like a normal cable, you will get uh, less time than, than direct contact, direct cable uh, charging. Because it's still wireless, so it's not a 100% uh, channel to take the energy from the masdar to the mobile phone through air. It's not 100% efficient, so there's some loss. Even the loss in the and in the coil, the it might get treated a little bit. So that's a, a, a loss of energy. Energy power to Hawarat Ida Harar. So that's something you lost. But that's still less, uh, not that much. You could make it very, very uh, negligible. Okay. Any questions? Or? I think I'm, I'm, I'm done.